Within the Big Sur National Forest, scientists today are transporting what many believe to be the skeleton of a long extinct dinosaur, miraculously preserved in an amber monolith. With me is Dr. Herman Armstrong. Herc. Excuse me, <laughs> Herc Armstrong, leader of the Earth Corps, a government-funded research team dedicated to investigating mysterious events under the Earth's surface. Would you comment on rumors that the monolith was emitting a strange sound and glowing when it was discovered by a pair of campers? And that the trees seem to be <clears throat> speaking? I'm sure there's a rational explanation for... What's that? Oh, no! Look out! Barbara Walker signing off from Big Sur, where mysterious events are definitely taking place. Well, we're down one mile, Mr. Shore. Take the drill down two miles. Uh, but there, uh, there's nothing down that far. Yes, there is. Okay, you're the boss. Take her down! Two miles! Whatever you say! Contributions to our beautiful city of San Francisco are too numerous to mention. Sandra Shore, benefactor of the Shore Museum. Thank you. Before unveiling this incredible find, let me introduce the brave members of the Earth Corps who will be studying this strange phenomenon. First, Herc Armstrong, leader of the Earth Corps. Next in is Dr. Derek Bright, designer of the Earth Corps Advanced Technology. And next to Dr. Bright, Augur, distinguished archaeologist and the man responsible for constructing the Earth Corps specialized suits and vehicles. And finally, Jonathan M. Slattery, better known as Liquidator, master of chemistry, spelunking, and sundry arcane sciences. What do you think she's doing after the party? I find it very unlikely she'd be seen with you. Obviously, she's a woman of refinement. Now, without further ado, let us unveil the most significant archaeological discovery of the century. Look! 
It's trashing the bridge. Yeah, then I bet it's not even paying the toll. It's coming for that thing. size of the tremors, that thing must weigh about 70 tons. I'll run the bio test. According to this, the monster's cold-blooded. Maybe cryogenic. It's like... a vine. I need a tissue sample. Leave that to me. Auger, don't you? Well, I'm gonna check out that thing in the amber block.
So, what were you and the lady doing in there? Listen, Auger, you want a romantic advice? Buy a book. I don't believe it. They're gone. And after the Inferno, the monster simply vanished, leaving behind more questions than answers. Were they from outer space? Mutations caused by toxic waste? Or were they a mass illusion created by the stress of modern living? Bright, is this part of the weapon or just a doodle? Amazing. The tissue sample is growing at an incredible rate. Earth to Dr. Bright. Hmm? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a doodle, I think. File it. I'll file it. Hey, look at this, guys. <laughs> 12th century. Looks like our buddy from last night's been around uh -huh. for a while, huh? Uh, is that so? Okay, just thought you might be interested. These things most likely come from the center of the Earth, General. But we have no evidence that they're extraterrestrials. We think it came from the center of the Earth. What do you mean, tell it to the Global Inquirer? Well, it looks like we're on our own, guys. Good, I hate red tape. So, where should we start looking for the creatures? The way I figure it, they must have escaped into the bay. Let's take the sub and start our search right here. Auger, the answer lies in the forest. Remember the vibes? Vibes? Let's be a little more professional, Liquidator. Well, then let's hear your theory. All right. An oil worker reported seeing the tendril monster come out of the drilling shaft. That shaft will undoubtedly lead us to the bottom of this mystery. Well, I'm glad we're in agreement, as usual. Auger, I'll accompany you. Bright, check out the shaft. <sighs> nothing. Eh, nothing at all. Come on! Communicate with me! There's no reason we can't be friends! I mean you no harm! You shall never violate this forest again. Fifty feet. Walls are covered with strange markings. I'm going deeper. Below is... Uh, amazing. A chamber. It appears to be a cell. I suspect that the tendril monster was imprisoned here. Judging by the path of destruction, the creatures would have entered the water near the Golden Gate and... Headed just about anywhere. Yeah, that about sums it up. Look, an old B-29. Probably crashed during World War II. But the fuselage looks like somebody stepped on it. Look, a footprint. There's another. Let's hope we find the monsters before they find us. Look out! <laughs> Tuna fish. They aren't our problem today, Auger. I'm taking us up! Whew, sorry. I guess that old Rex sort of spooked me. No doubt about it. The monsters couldn't have found a better place to hide. Yes, they could. Hold on to your seat. We're going in. You sure this is a good idea? I'm getting a depth reading of two miles. We must be in a lava tube. A doorway to the center of the Earth. Full throttle! It's no use! It's got us! And it's crushing us like a tin can! Crushing us like a tin can! 
Put on your helmets! I'm blowing the pressure bolts! strange markings. Ah! Ah! He splattered permanent, Mr. Shaw. They'll need a spatula for him. That's a terrible tragedy. Trigger the cave-in. Then nobody can prove anything. Environmental suits. You never should have touched the amber. Hey, look, we didn't know what we were doing. Humans seldom do. We'll give it back. Really? We, we don't want it. One should not steal what one does not want. Look, look, you're right. I couldn't agree with you more. From now on, I won't take so much as a pine cone from this forest. You are a curious being. Oh. Ah! I should have gone for a joyride in the sub with Herc and Auger. Ah! Your aura is good. Your thoughts are pure. Let us show you the horror you have returned to the world. Long ago, a terrible war between the Mutors and the evil Inhumanoids raged far below. The Inhumanoid, Metlar, tyrant from the core. Decompose the undead horror. And Tendril, Ravager of the Earth's Mantle, set out to crush the Mutors. We, the mighty Redwoods, along with the peaceful Granites, and our magnetic ally, MagnaCore, fought an impossible war against impossible odds. were great, we defeated them and drove them into submission. The monster Tendril was sealed into a stone chamber where he stayed until humans released him. Decompose was paralyzed by the sunlight and toppled into an amber pit. And the tyrant Metlar was trapped in MagnaCore's magnetic field. He is still confined, but I fear the others will release him. If that should happen, 
the world will never know peace. Don't worry. I... I promise you we will stop them. You talking to me? Huh? No. I, I was talking to, uh... You ought to get out of the sun, pal. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. I tell you, there's one born every minute. And I am telling you, the trees were talking. You know, Liquidator's story jibes very well with my own. When I was investigating the drilling shaft, I discovered a deep chamber which might well be this tendril's prison. Then we must stop the Inhumanoids before they can release Metlar. Otherwise... It's the dead! 